If you can build a system to predict a certain number, you will be profitable on average no matter the market conditions. My system tells me that the realized volatility will be perhaps 8%. And you can see when I run the 10,000 simulations, my average MTM is now a fairly positive figure. It's about 3,000 rupees of profit on average. Hi guys, welcome back to Algo Test. In this video, we will discuss a potential strategy building edge. If you can build a system to predict a certain number, you will be profitable on average, no matter the market conditions. The number you must predict is the volatility of the underlying instrument. Okay, so let's start from here. If an option is priced at 100 rupees, why is it priced at that figure? There are different components of an option price that affect the actual fluctuation of that price. Some of these components are interest rates, the underlying itself, time to expiration, and volatility. There are more factors that affect an option's price. However, for this video, these are sufficient. The one factor that I alluded to that we can build a trading system around is predicting or forecasting volatility. What do I mean by this? Well, let's understand this better using the analyzer tool on AlgoTest. So I'm currently on the AlgoTest landing page and I'm going to click on go to dashboard. Now I'm going to scroll over to the analyzer tool in the navigation tab and you can see the analyzer loads up. Now I've picked the bank nifty index and I'm going to sell a straddle and add the money straddle for the 6th of December expiration. So you can see there's a payoff loaded over here, which if you've been trading, I'm pretty sure you're familiar with this payoff diagram. Now I'm going to click on position Greeks and this shows me the Greeks of my position as well as the implied volatility or IV. Now I'm going to click on the Monte Carlo analysis tab and now this loads up and now we can see this screen. Now first and foremost, what is implied volatility? Implied volatility is essentially the estimate of what the market thinks the underlying of a particular option will move in the next 365 days. So the annualized volatility estimate in percentage terms of that index. Here you can see our position has an implied volatility of 11.50. This means that the market thinks with 68% probability, the underlying will move by 11.5% up or down in the next 365 days. Now, why is it 68% probability? Because we're talking about the first standard deviation or just one standard deviation here. All right. So that is implied volatility. Implied volatility is theoretical. However, what actually happens in the market is the realized volatility. Now that we've got these two definitions out of the way, let's understand the actual importance of this on the analyzer tool. So it shows me an implied volatility of 11.50 and I've sold a straddle, which means I am short options. I am selling options. Now, when you're selling options, it is good for you if the volatility falls and not rises. Now, how do you actually use this tool? You can hover over this how to use section and it gives you a little explainer. Your prop, your PL will be highly dependent on what path the underlying index takes. See how your strategies will perform on average across 10,000 different price paths that the underlying could take until expiry. So essentially, your PL is very dependent on how the underlying moves right? We all know this. But since there's infinite ways that the, that the underlying could potentially move, this tool will help you visualize 10,000 simulations or 10,000 price paths at one time. Now, this may seem a little bit confusing, but don't worry, we're going to understand everything with, with the example. So my implied volatility for this position is 11.50 and I am short options. So when you are short options, it is good for you if the realized volatility falls. And if you are long options or if you buy options, it is in your best interest if the volatility rises. So I know my implied volatility as 11.5. Now here I'm going to enter my realized volatility estimate. Now what happens if the implied volatility and the realized volatility are the same? Well, let's see what happens. I've put in 11.5 here and I'm going to click on run 10,000 times. Okay, so you're now presented with some statistics and you can see a histogram over here. Let's make sense of this. You can see it says average MTM as 98 rupees, which is pretty much no profit, no loss. And it gives you some other statistics. You can see the probability of profit is 58%. So what this is telling us, looking at the histogram and looking at these statistics is that on average, 
we're going to make no profit or no loss in this position for this strategy if the volatility that is realized is the same as the volatility that is implied. So your IV is equal to RV. On average, you're making no profit, no loss, but there are instances where you may make a pretty high PL, like let's say 10,000 rupees, but that is a very low probability. Now, how do you see that probability? On the histogram, hover to any number over here, let's say for a profit of 8,800 rupees, my probability is 3.38%. And at the same time, you can see my minimum MTM in these 10,000 simulations, or pretty much my max loss is minus 40,000 rupees. And if you once again go to the histogram, hover over one of these bars, you can see, let's say a probability of minus 26,000 rupees loss is 0.08 percentage, okay? Now keep in mind, we all know this is a short straddle, meaning we're short two options. So our max loss is unlimited, as you can see in the payoff. However, for these 10,000 simulations, the max loss was minus 40,000. You can run the simulation multiple times and you can see that your average MTM pretty much stays at no profit, no loss. Sometimes it's slightly above zero, sometimes it's gonna be slightly below zero. Now note one thing over here, you can see that there's a tapered long tail over here. This type of distribution is known as a negatively skewed distribution. Meaning, in these strategies, you can see a probability of profit is about 57%, so more than 50%. However, when you lose, you will lose pretty big. Okay, but how do you make money with this? Going back to implied volatility, implied is that is what the market believes is going to happen with the underlying index and thus it is pricing it into the options. However, let's say I've built a system that allows me to forecast my volatility, meaning my system tells me that no, the IV is not going to stay at 11.5. It's going to be lesser than that, for example. My system tells me that the realized volatility will be perhaps 8%, right? So now I'm going to enter 8% over here. And you can see when I run the 10,000 simulations, my average MTM is now a fairly positive figure. It's about 3000 rupees of profit on average. So in these 10,000 simulations, you can see I'm making a profit that's average of around 3000 rupees. I was able to build a system that can forecast the volatility and it tells me if the volatility will fall or rise. In this case, the volatility fell and that is obviously going to benefit my position because like I said, when you are short options, when the volatility falls. However, let's note one thing. Even though my average MTM is 3000 rupees, which is profitable, there are going to be instances where I will lose money as well, right? You can see the minimum MTM here or the maximum loss is about 23,000 rupees. There's going to be a series of wins of about 3000 rupees. And then there might be a loss that will be potentially significantly higher than my winning. So over the long term, if my realized volatility prediction is correct, I might lose money on some instances, but on average, over the long term, I will be profitable. Now, what happens if I'm wrong? What if my system forecasts 8% volatility? However, the volatility actually rises and the realized volatility is 15%. Now let's run this simulation and you can see the average MTM is about minus 2,900 to 3,000 rupees of loss, which makes sense, right? Because like I said, when you are short options, and the volatility rises, you're probably going to lose money. But once again, just because you're going to lose money on average doesn't mean there won't be instances wherein you make some money. For example, to make a profit of 7,000 rupees, even if the volatility rises in this particular trade with these 10,000 simulations, the probability is about 3.14%. So pretty low. Essentially, on average, if my volatility estimate is wrong, I will be losing money. Now keep in mind, this can obviously be done for long options or when you buy options, as I will just demonstrate. So I've refreshed the page and with the same underlying index, let's pick the 6 December expiry once again. And instead of selling options, this time let's buy them. So now we have traded a long straddle. I'm going to click on position Greeks and you can see the payoff over here, which is typical. Now it's clearly visible that the max loss is defined that you can, the most you can lose in this trade is about 10,000 rupees trading one lot each because when you're buying options, the most you can lose is the premium that you have paid. Let's head over to Monte Carlo analysis. Now, if the realized volatility is the same as the implied volatility, which is about 11.51, and I'm going to click on run 10,000 times, you can see that on average, the average MTM is about zero, no profit, no loss, pretty much. 
However, if I feel like the volatility will rise, I could potentially take this position on. Let's say my realized volatility forecast is about 17%. I feel like the underlying index's volatility will rise. So I'll input 17 here as the realized volatility and click on run 10,000 times. As you can see, on average, this strategy is profitable. The average profit is about 4,500 or so rupees. And this makes perfect sense because like I said, when the volatility rises and you're long options or you have bought options, it is in your best interest. Now, once again, if I was to lose in this trade, the volatility would have to dip. So let's say it dips to around 9%. Simulating this, you can see the average MTM is about 2,200 rupees or so. Once again, this doesn't mean that you won't have winning days even if the volatility drops because the histogram tells us this. The percentage of making let's say 2500 rupees profit even though your volatility estimate was incorrect is about 1.54 percent now let's summarize how you can use this feature to actually find an edge you must build a way to forecast or predict the volatility the realized volatility of a particular underlying index right if i feel like the underlying index's volatility will rise and the implied is lesser than that then I could potentially trade a long option strategy or I could buy options to benefit from this rise in volatility. So one of those options could be trading a long straddle or quite simply, you could just trade a single option if you like. There is no limitation to that. That's completely dependent on you. And similarly, if I feel like the realized volatility will be less than the implied volatility, I could potentially sell options and one of those trades could be a short straddle. You must figure out a way to forecast volatility and then you can use our tool to potentially see how you will stand to benefit in those situations. So we encourage you to use this feature and play around with it to aid you in your own research to see how the payoffs and your profitability is affected in different volatility estimates. And this could potentially help you build a strategy that will be profitable in the long term on average. So thanks for watching this video guys. If the concepts in this video seem to be a little too difficult to understand the first time round, no problem. Please re-watch it as many times as you like and feel free to ask us questions on our social platforms. And of course, feel free to comment any questions that you have. We will answer all of them. Please like the video, share with your friends and subscribe to our channel for more knowledgeable content on options trading for those looking to be professional traders. See you in the next one.